Peaceful Shaver here. How you doing, guys? I was asked by wetshavingclub.com if I would like to try one of their razors and let you guys know what I think. So uh, I was sent this razor, uh, and this is my honest review. I did not pay for this razor. However, I'm going to give you my honest review, how I feel about it. So first of all, I want to show you this t-shirt, Shave Sensei. They gave me this to wear. So, <laughs> there we go. The razor from wetshavingclub.com is the winning razor. And we're gonna find out, is this razor a winner? Well, here's what I think. I've spent a week with it so far. Uh, I've shaved with it seven times, and now I have gone three more days without shaving just so I can give it a real test here. So you see I've got a good amount of growth there. And we're gonna take this stubble down. So first of all, this razor is made for wetshavingclub.com by Yates Precision. Made in the USA out of 100% 316 marine grade stainless steel. It is CNC machined and it starts around $50. That's what uh, they want me to let you know about this razor. And I'm now gonna tell you everything else I feel about it. First of all, it's a, it's a decent looking razor. It's heavy, it's got a long handle. Uh, it starts at $50. That's an unbelievable price for a stainless steel razor, especially 316. Um, it has some interesting geometry. You see that the, the head is a little scalloped on top, so you can kinda, sort of like the carve is, where you can kind of reach it. However, what I do like about this razor is that the blade tabs are 100% covered. Now it's not polished, it is machined, so it is a tool, not a jewel. You will see some machine marks on there. And it is a three-piece razor, and the threading is very smooth. Standard threading on this razor. And you see the lather channels on the top and on the bottom of the base plate. And you can see, I never, you know, you think this is my first video, I never know where to look. You see that the curve that's gonna be placed on this blade is fairly dramatic. So it's not, it's definitely not gonna be laying flat. It's gonna give it a good curve. And what I found is that if a, a nice razor that holds together well, that has a nice curve to it, is more, it is tend to leave that blade in place with less chatter. And you do not want chatter on any razor, especially on a thin DE razor. What did they send me to use? Well, I'm gonna use the blades that they sent me, the Tatra. These are from the Czech Republic. So I can't wait to check these out. <laughs> so let's see, let's get one of these out here. Comes in this blue package made in the Czech Republic. Now, we're gonna open up this blade and I'm gonna show you something pretty cool. All right. Put the blade in my hand. On the bottom of the handle, watch this. Magnets, how do they work? Look at that. So that's pretty cool. So you don't have to use your hands to pick up the blade. So you could actually, let's use this. Let's take the base plate here and let's place it right on here with the handle. My hands shake, so forgive me. Okay. We'll put the top cap right on there. All right. And then let's screw this down. Nice threading, okay? Nice and snug. No blade overhang at all. You can see the top of the blade, but it doesn't overhang on the bottom. Fairly long handle, very heavy, over four ounces. All right, let's see how it goes. Let's wet the face and get to it. All right. 
Now, if you're not familiar with this type of shaving, this is wet shaving. We're using a brush, we're using a soap. Let's add some water to the brush. I also want to put a little bit on my face. All right. Let's see about the winning razor. All right, so first of all, when you have the angle right, you can feel it and you can hear it. Can you hear that? The angle is pretty easy to find because it's very flat on both sides. Hear that? This is not a, an aggressive razor at all. This is an extremely mild razor. However, it is definitely doing the job. Very mild. I don't feel like this is a razor that you could easily cut yourself with. I feel like this is a very safe safety razor. Can you hear the feedback? There's quite a, quite a bit of feedback. 
It did have quite a bit of growth though. All right, first pass down, let's rinse a little bit. Just wanna add a little bit more water. Oops. All right, second pass, we are gonna go across the grain. Very smooth. Not hazardous feeling at all. Feels very safe. All right, two passes down, we are gonna do a third pass. That feels pretty good. That feels pretty darn good. Let's put a little bit what I had left on here on the puck. You can make a very thin lather into something by just adding more water to it. All you want is lather to be slick and to have full coverage. You don't need two inches of lather on your face or as I call it, a show lather. 
All you need is a lather to shave with against the grain. So it feels, it feels almost like it's brushing the hair away. It, it's almost like, it's almost like it's grabbing the skin uh, in between the two plates, kind of suctioning the skin in, holding on to it, and just really giving a smooth shave. You can definitely hear it when it's cutting. Now at this point, this is my third pass and it does not a ton of stubble left on there. So I don't really feel the blade. I can hear it. You can definitely tell when it's cutting. And like I said, it feels like it's almost brushing the hair away. Really smooth. Really smooth. Looking for a ton of blade feel, this isn't it, but it's definitely efficient. If you're looking for safety in a safety razor, this definitely fills the bill. But like I said, it's not really leaving me any wanting anything. All right, so I believe this is my eighth shave in the last 10 or 11 days that I've had it. And it's a darn good one, it really is. Let me just rinse down a little bit. Yeah, that feels great, it really does. So the winning razor from wetshavingclub.com Starts at $50, CNC machine, 316, uh, marine grade stainless steel, made by Yates Precision in America. Uh, it definitely gets my thumbs up. So Wet Shaving Club, uh, we'll let you know more about it. But uh, Scotty Peaceful Shaver, thanks for watching.